Hey, Wesley. Uh, thanks for taking the time. So we haven't talked to you guys in a little bit and wanted to get your sense the Florida game eight days away. You know, the preparation, the hard work you guys have put in. How excited are you and this team to sort of show what the Miami Hurricanes 2024 are all about? Um, I feel we've been working really hard, man. And I'm very excited to just go out there, you know, and let it all on the line, man. So, so, so what we've been doing and so how hard we've been working. Uh, next, let's go to Adam Lichtenstein from the Sun Sentinel. Adam, go ahead. Hey, Wesley, how's it going? What up, Adam? Um, have you guys started like your game prep and like actual like opposition prep for Florida yet? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Um, then, then my next question will make sense. Um, <laughs> Graham Mertz uh seems like he's really uh successful really good at that kind of short to medium passing game obviously playing in coverage as a linebacker um how are you guys preparing for for that kind of mid-range passing game um you know just just watching film and and picking up different tendencies different things they do you know he's a great player you know they got great players we got great players um you know just drawing up different schemes different things you know to match up with what they do just got to go out there and execute and then just how are you guys preparing for the crowd noise? You know, you got 90,000 people in that stadium. Just how are you guys preparing for that kind of environment? Um, you know, at our practices, our coach um, plays loud noise in the indoor, outside, um, uh, before the ball gets snapped. So uh, they try to do that for us so we can kind of get used to it um, when we come to the game. All right, next let's go to Jordan McPherson from the Herald. Jordan, go ahead. Hey there, Wesley. How are you? We're doing good. How are you? Doing good. Uh, sort of to build off of Matt's question, with season opener getting getting closer, as camp moves on, do you guys sense it? Do you guys feel the excitement? Do you guys feel just as the basically as the games as it gets closer to, open, to season opener? Just what's the excitement level like as you guys try as you guys get ready to finally get this thing started? Oh man, the excitement level is through the roof, man. Uh, just 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 just. Hearing about everything over the summer and, and and finally getting down to the business, man. Guys are guys are very excited and we just ready to get to work. That's it. And just, yeah, sorry. And then just wanted to ask you about Kiko. Just what does he bring to that linebacker room, and just how important is he going to be for you guys this season? Man, Kiko brings experience, um, leadership, uh, just just leading by example. And you know, even I look at him sometimes. You know, you know, we feed off each other. The whole LB room feed off each other, and. It's going to be one for the buzz, and we just can't wait to get to work. Uh, next, we'll go to Cass Clayton. Cass, go ahead. Hey, Wesley. It's you, too. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Um, so, I, you sound very excited. The team is very excited about, you know, playing game one in, in the swamp. I just kind of want to compare and contrast from last year's hype to this year. Mm -hmm. What's the difference in just the hype and just – starting this season um i'll say you know just 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 taking a day at a time just being where your feet are man um uh, it, it's not good to you know uh think too much in the past think too much in the future just be where your feet are um you know let the day come and just work work every single day till it leads up to game day and um hopefully you get the results you you, you want Next, we'll go to Marcus Benjamin. Marcus, go ahead. How's it going, Wes? What up, Marcus? Nothing much. Uh, just wanted to ask you about the scrimmage, the second one. Uh, just your opinion on who kind of won the scrimmage on, on last Saturday. And just tell me about the progression of the team from scrimmage one to scrimmage two and anything that you've seen from the offense uh, as far as progression is concerned from, from the two scrimmages. Um. I don't I, I don't really like like to look at who won or who lost because at the end of the day we we not playing each other um we playing opposing teams so uh, I feel like I feel like you know both sides have good plays um and, and we compete you know that's good for the team and I feel like that's going to help us in the long run in the season so I, I don't really like to look at who won and who lost I feel like you know we both make plays we both compete and you know it is what it is. Uh, Matt Baker with the rowing puns and also the Tampa Bay Times. Go ahead. 
Hey, Wesley, what, after this whole off season, what's giving you a, a lot of confidence that you guys can take a big step forward on the field with your production and, and ultimately in the, the scoreboard? Say it again. Yeah. After this whole off season, what's given you a lot of confidence that you guys can take a step forward on the field this year compared to where you were last year? Man, I feel like we put in the work. Um, that's where your confidence comes from, putting in the work every day, um, studying, you know, working out, just just having your mental right, all that contributes to, to you know, on the field. I feel like we put in the work, and I feel like we're ready. And I think we got one more from Adam. Adam, go ahead. We do indeed. Um, <laughs> thanks, thanks, um, Carter. Uh, after uh, about a month of camp, Wesley, just how have you seen um, – just all the younger linebackers improve. Um, I feel like the lo the young linebackers came a long way. Um, Cameron Bobby Pruitt, um, Bobby Washington, um, they came a long way from the spring. Um, and I'm excited, uh, to see what they do this season, man. And um, you know, I will I will continue being the leader for them, and being the example for them. Um, and answering whatever questions they have for me.